Russell Carrington Wilson, born November 29, 1988, is an American football quarterback for the Denver Broncos of the National Football League, NFL. He previously played his first 10 seasons for the Seattle Seahawks. Wilson has been regarded as one of the greatest dual-threat quarterbacks of all time. Wilson played college football and baseball at NC State from 2008 to 2010 before transferring to Wisconsin in 2011, where he set the single-season FBS record for passer rating and led them to a Big Ten title and the 2012 Rose Bowl. He also played minor league baseball for the Tri-City Dust Devils in 2010 and the Asheville Tourists in 2011 as a second baseman. The Seahawks selected Wilson in the third round, 75th overall, of the 2012 NFL Draft. He tied Peyton Manning's then record for most passing touchdowns by a rookie and was named Pepsi NFL Rookie of the Year. Wilson has been named to nine Pro Bowls and helped lead the Seahawks to two consecutive Super Bowls. He and the Seahawks won Super Bowl 48, but lost Super Bowl 49 the next year when Wilson was intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. He holds the record for most wins by an NFL quarterback through nine seasons and is one of four quarterbacks in NFL history with a career passer rating over 110. In April 2019, Wilson signed a four year, $140 million contract extension with the Seahawks, making him the highest paid player in the NFL at the time. In 2020, he became just the third quarterback in NFL history to throw for 30 touchdowns in four consecutive seasons. Wilson was traded to the Denver Broncos in 2022, after which he signed a five-year, $245 million contract extension. His time with the Broncos was marked with disappointment, with the Broncos having the league's worst scoring offense in 2022. Wilson was benched during the final two games of the 2023 season. Wilson is part owner of the Seattle Sounders FC of Major League Soccer, MLS. After he purchased his minority stake, the Sounders won the 2019 MLS Cup. Early life and background Wilson was born at the Christ Hospital in Cincinnati and grew up in Richmond, Virginia. His parents are Harrison Benjamin Wilson III, a lawyer, and Tammy Wilson, Nay Turner, a nurse director. He has an older brother, Harrison Four, and a younger sister, Anna. Wilson started playing football with his father and brother at the age of four and played his first organized game for the Tuckahoe Tomahawks youth football team in sixth grade. Wilson's great-great-grandfather was enslaved to a Confederate colonel and was freed after the American Civil War. Wilson's paternal grandfather, Harrison B. Wilson Jr., was a former president of Norfolk State University who played football and basketball at Kentucky State University, and his paternal grandmother, Anna W. Wilson, was on the faculty at Jackson State University. Wilson's maternal grandfather was noted painter A. B. Jackson. According to genetic admixture analysis, Wilson is 62% African, 36% European, 1% West Asian, and 1% Central Asian. His European family lineage has been traced back to 524 AD to St. Arnulf of Metz via Charlemagne. Wilson also claims to have some Native American ancestry, although he did not explicitly say which tribe he came from. Wilson's father played football and baseball at Dartmouth and was a wide receiver for the San Diego Chargers preseason squad in 1980. Wilson's brother, Harry, played football and baseball at the University of Richmond, and his sister Anna played basketball at Stanford. Wilson's father died of complications from diabetes on June 9, 2010, at age 55, the day after Wilson was drafted by the Rockies. High school career Wilson attended collegiate school, a preparatory school in Richmond, Virginia. As a junior in 2005, he threw for 3,287 passing yards and 40 passing touchdowns and rushed for 634 rushing yards and 15 rushing touchdowns. He was named an All-District, All-Region, and All-State player. Wilson was twice named the Richmond Times-Dispatch Player of the Year. As a senior, he threw for 3,009 passing yards, 34 passing touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. In addition, he rushed for 1,132 yards and 18 touchdowns. That year, he was named an All-Conference and All-State Player as well as Conference Player of the Year. He was featured in Sports Illustrated for his performance in the state championship game win. 
Wilson also served as his senior class president. During his time in high school, Wilson attended the Manning Passing Academy, a summer football clinic run by multiple NFL MVP winner and eventual Hall of Fame quarterback Peyton Manning. Due to this encounter, Manning recognized Wilson many years later when the latter had flown to Denver to discuss the prospect of getting drafted by the Denver Broncos, where Manning had recently signed. Wilson was also a member of the collegiate school basketball and baseball teams. Wilson committed to North Carolina State University on July 23, 2006. He also received a football scholarship offer from Duke University. College football career NC State C also. 2007 NC State Wolfpack Football Team, 2008 NC State Wolfpack Football Team, 2009 NC State Wolfpack Football Team, and 2010 NC State Wolfpack Football Team Wilson redshirted during the 2007 season at NC State. In 2008, Wilson initially split time at quarterback with senior Daniel Evans and junior Harrison Beck. However, Evans and Beck saw no regular season action after Week 2 and Week 5, respectively. Thereafter, Wilson led the team to a 4-3 record in the regular season which NC State finished out on a four-game winning streak. During a 30-24 win over East Carolina, Wilson threw for 201 yards and three touchdowns. He threw for two touchdowns in each of the last six games in the regular season. In the 2008 PapaJohns.com Bowl against Rutgers, Wilson threw for 186 yards and a touchdown and rushed for 46 yards before halftime. Late in the first half, he scrambled to the Rutgers four-yard line, where he was tackled and suffered a knee sprain. With Wilson sitting out the remainder of the game, his replacements threw a combined total of three interceptions with NC State, eventually losing 29-23. Over the course of the season, he completed 150 of 275 attempts for 1,955 yards and 17 touchdowns with just one interception. He also recorded 116 carries for 394 yards and four touchdowns. The Atlantic Coast Conference ACC named him the first-team All-ACC quarterback. It was the first time in conference history that a freshman quarterback was named to the first team. Prior to the 2009 season, Wilson was named quarterback of the preseason All-ACC football team on July 12. On September 19, Wilson broke Andre Woodson's all-time NCAA record of 325 consecutive pass attempts without an interception against Gardner-Webb. The 379 pass streak ended in a game against Wake Forest on October 3. Wilson held the record until November 10, 2012, when it was broken by Louisiana Tech quarterback Colby Cameron. 58. Wilson was named Honorable Mention All-ACC in 2009. Wilson finished the 2009 regular season with 3,027 passing yards, 31 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions as the team finished with a 5-7 record. Wilson led the 2010 Wolfpack to a 9-4 season that included a 23-7 win over West Virginia in the 2010 Champ Sports Bowl. He led the ACC in passing yards per game, 274.1, and total offensive yards per game, 307.5. He was named second team All ACC and runner up for ACC Football Player of the Year. In May 2010, Wilson graduated from NC State in three years with a BA in communication and took graduate level business courses in the fall semester during the 2010 football season. Transfer in January 2011, Wilson announced that he would report to spring training with the Colorado Rockies organization. NC State head coach Tom O'Brien expressed reservations with Wilson's decision, saying Russell and I have had very open conversations about his responsibilities respective to baseball and football. While I am certainly respectful of Russell's dedication to baseball these last several years, within those discussions I also communicated to him the importance of his time commitment to NC State football. O'Brien and his staff reached out to NFL coaches and general managers on Wilson's behalf, but he failed to receive an invitation to the 2011 NFL Scouting Combine. On April 29, 2011, O'Brien announced that Wilson was granted a release from his football scholarship with one year of eligibility left, Wisconsin on June 27, 2011. Wisconsin head coach Brett Bielema said that Wilson committed to Wisconsin for the 2011 season. In the season opener against UNLV, Wilson passed for 255 yards and two touchdowns in a 51-17 victory. 
he also rushed for 62 yards, including a 46-yard touchdown run. In the next three games, Wilson threw for three passing touchdowns in each game, victories over Oregon State, Northern Illinois, and South Dakota. Following a 48-17 victory over previously undefeated No. 8 Nebraska, Wilson recorded a receiving touchdown in the 59-7 victory over Indiana. Wilson helped lead the Badgers to a 6-0 start and a number 4 ranking in the AP poll. The Badgers dropped their next two games, road losses to Michigan State and Ohio State. Wilson and the Badgers reeled off four consecutive wins to end the regular season. Wilson was efficient during the winning streak, passing for nine touchdowns to no interceptions while rushing for two touchdowns. At the end of the regular season, Wilson was named first-team All-Big Ten by both the coaches and media. He also won the Greasy Breeze Big Ten Quarterback of the Year Award. In the inaugural Big Ten Championship game on December 3, Wilson threw for three touchdowns and led the Badgers to a 42-39 win over the Michigan State Spartans. Wilson was named the game's Grange Griffin MVP. In December 2011, Wilson was named a third-team All-American by Yahoo Sports and finished ninth in Heisman Trophy voting with 52 points. In the 2012 Rose Bowl against the Oregon Ducks on January 2, 2012, Wilson had 19 pass completions on 25 attempts for 296 yards, 18 rushing yards, and 3 touchdowns, 2 passing, 1 rushing, as the Badgers lost by a score of 45-38. Wilson finished the season with 33 passing touchdowns, which set the single-season record at Wisconsin and was the second most in Big Ten history behind Drew Brees during the 1998 season at Purdue, 39. Wilson also set the single-season FBS record for passing. Efficiency, 191.8. On January 28, 2012, Wilson completed his college football career at the 2012 Senior Bowl. After transferring to the University of Wisconsin, Wilson earned a master's degree in educational leadership and policy analysis. Professional football career pre-draft on January 16, 2012, Wilson began training for the NFL Scouting Combine at the IMG Madden Football Academy in Bradenton, Florida. Prior to the 2012 NFL Draft, Wilson had been projected by NFL scouts and analysts to be a middle-round pick. In February 2012, former NFL quarterback and director of the IMG Madden Football Academy Chris Weinke said of Wilson, if he was 6-5, to five, he'd probably be the number one pick in the draft. On April 11, 2012, ESPN Monday Night Football analyst John Gruden said, the only issue with Russell Wilson is his height. That might be the reason he's not picked in the first couple rounds. Seattle Seahawks 2012 Wilson was selected by the Seattle Seahawks in the third round, 75th overall, of the 2012 NFL Draft, the sixth quarterback selected. The Seahawks received significant criticism for their selections in the draft, and Wilson in particular, as they had just signed free agent Matt Flynn. Two weeks later, Wilson signed a four-year, $2.99 million contract with the Seahawks on May 7, 2012. Wilson made his preseason debut against the Tennessee Titans on August 11, 2012, and had his first preseason start on August 24 against the Kansas City Chiefs. Two days later, on August 26, 2012, Wilson was named the starting quarterback for the first regular season game after competing with Matt Flynn and Tarvaris Jackson for the position. On September 9, 2012, Wilson made his regular season debut in a 20-16 road loss to the Arizona Cardinals. He had 18 completions on 34 passing attempts for 153 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. In the third regular season game on Monday night, the Seahawks won 14-12 over the Green Bay Packers on a controversial Hail Mary touchdown pass to Golden Tate. The contentious nature of the replacement official's decision on the play was widely considered to have been the tipping point that led to an agreement being reached to end the referee lockout. Wilson earned Rookie of the Week honors for his performance in a 28-7 victory over the New York Jets on November 11. He completed 12 of 19 passes for 188 yards and two touchdowns, and rushed for 34 yards on seven attempts.
he was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week and FedEx Player of the Week for his performance in a 23-17 road win over the Chicago Bears in overtime on December 2, and a 50-17 victory over the Buffalo Bills in Toronto on December 16, Wilson had 205 passing yards, 1. Passing touchdown, 9 rushes, 92 rushing yards, and a career-high 3 rushing touchdowns, he earned NFL Offensive Rookie of the Month honors for December 2012 after the Seahawks went 5-0 and he had a passer rating of 115.2. Wilson finished the 2012 regular season ranked 4th in the NFL in passer rating, 100.0 beating the previous rookie record set by Ben Roethlisberger in 2004, 98.1, since broken by Robert Griffin III in 2012, 102.4, and Dak Prescott in 2016, 104.9. He threw for 3,118 yards and 26 touchdowns, tying Peyton Manning's record for most touchdowns thrown by a rookie, and rushed for 489 yards and four touchdowns. Wilson's scrambling mobility and ability to extend plays outside the pocket with his legs earned numerous comparisons to Hall of Fame quarterback Fran Tarkenton. Wilson led the Seahawks to the postseason in his rookie year, with both games on the road in January. He made his postseason debut in the NFC wildcard round against the Washington Redskins, passing for 187 yards and rushing for 67 yards as the Seahawks rallied for a 24-14 comeback victory. In the divisional round against the Atlanta Falcons, Wilson threw for 385 yards and rushed for 60 yards, and his team had a 28-27 lead with 31 seconds to go, but the Falcons managed to kick the winning field goal. Wilson was selected as an alternate for the 2013 Pro Bowl, filling in for Matt Ryan of Atlanta. At the Pro Bowl in Hawaii on January 27, Wilson completed 8 of 10 passes for 98 yards, 3 touchdowns, and no interceptions for a 147.1 rating. At the end of the season, Wilson earned a bonus of $222,000 through the NFL's performance-based pay program. He was ranked 51st by his fellow players on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2013. 2013 Super Bowl Championship The Seahawks began the 2013 season with the first 4-0 start in franchise history, before losing to the Indianapolis Colts in Week 5. The Seahawks then went on a seven-game winning streak including a 41-20 victory over the Vikings where he posted a career-high 151.4 passer rating and culminating in a 34-7 victory over the New Orleans Saints in Week 13 in which Wilson threw three touchdown passes and earned his second NFC Offensive Player of the Week award, over. The next three weeks, the Seahawks suffered divisional losses to the San Francisco 49ers and Cardinals. The loss to the Cardinals was Wilson's first home loss, but defeated the St. Louis Rams in Week 17 to finish the season with a 13-3 record, the NFC West title, and the no. One seed in the playoffs, Wilson finished the season with 26 touchdown passes, 9 interceptions, and a 101.2 passer rating, becoming the first quarterback in the Super Bowl era to post a 100-plus passer rating in each of his first two seasons. Wilson was named to his second Pro Bowl on December 27, 2013. In the divisional round, the Seahawks defeated the Saints by a score of 23-15. On January 19, 2014, Wilson and the Seahawks defeated the 49ers in the NFC Championship by a score of 23-17, advancing to Super Bowl XLVI. Wilson threw for 206 yards, two touchdowns, and no interceptions for a 123.1 passer rating in a 43-8 win over the Denver Broncos to give the Seahawks their first Super Bowl victory in franchise history. With the victory, Wilson became just the second black starting quarterback to win a Super Bowl, joining Super Bowl XXII winner Doug Williams. At 5 feet 11 inches, he also became the shortest quarterback to win a Super Bowl, shorter than Len Dawson, Joe Theismann, and Drew Brees, all 6 feet 0 inches. Dot. Wilson earned a bonus of $169,141.73 for the 2013 season through the NFL's performance-based pay program. He was ranked 20th by his fellow players on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2014. 2014, back-to-back -back Super Bowl appearances on September 21, 
2014, Wilson led the Seahawks on an 80-yard touchdown drive in overtime to defeat the Broncos, 26-20, in a Week 3 rematch of the previous season's Super Bowl, on October 6, 2014, against the Redskins. Wilson set a new Monday night football record for rushing yards by a quarterback in a single game with 122. The Seahawks clinched a playoff spot in Week 16 when the Dallas Cowboys defeated the Colts by a score of 42-7, eliminating the Philadelphia Eagles from postseason contention and allowing the Seahawks to clinch their spot before their Sunday night football matchup. On December 21, 2014, Wilson went 20 of 31 and threw for a then career high 339 yards with two touchdown passes and a rushing touchdown against the Cardinals in a primetime matchup on Sunday night football. Wilson also led the offense in gaining 596 yards, setting a franchise record for most yards gained in a game. The Cardinals had the third best scoring defense heading into week 16. The Seahawks won 35-6 as they snapped the Cardinals' seven-game home winning streak and regained first place in the NFC West as well as the NFC's number one seed. The Seahawks defeated the Rams 20-6 in Week 17 to clinch the NFC West and the number one seed for the second consecutive season, securing home field advantage for the entirety of the NFC playoffs. Wilson led the Seahawks to a 31-17 home win over the Carolina Panthers in the divisional round, making the Seahawks the first defending Super Bowl champion to win a playoff game since the 2005 Patriots. The Seahawks hosted the Packers in their second consecutive NFC championship. Wilson threw three first-half interceptions while completing only two passes to his own team as the Seahawks fell behind 16-0 at halftime. With the Packers leading 19-7 and five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, Wilson threw his fourth interception. Then Wilson led the Seahawks on an improbable comeback. On the Seahawks' next drive, Wilson ran the ball in for a touchdown to cut the deficit to 19-14. After a successful onside kick recovery, Wilson led the Seahawks down the field and Lynch scored to give the Seahawks a 20-19 lead. Wilson completed a 15-yard, two-point conversion pass to Luke Wilson to make it 22-19. The Packers tied it up with a field goal at the end of regulation and forced overtime. The Seahawks won the coin toss, and the offense took the field. Wilson led the Seahawks on an 80-yard drive that was capped by a 35-yard game-winning touchdown pass to Curse. The Seahawks completed their largest postseason comeback in franchise history and clinched a Super Bowl berth. Wilson would have been selected as an alternate to the Pro Bowl, but did not play because the Seahawks advanced to the Super Bowl, as Wilson did not have a chance to decline the invitation. The NFL recognizes this as a Pro Bowl berth for him. Wilson became the first quarterback in NFL history to start two Super Bowls in his first three professional seasons. The Seahawks became the first defending champion to return to the Super Bowl since the 2004 Patriots. They faced the New England. Patriots in Super Bowl 49, where they were defeated by a final score of 28-24. Although the Seahawks led 24-14 heading into the fourth quarter, the Patriots scored two consecutive touchdowns to take a four-point lead with 2-0-2 remaining. Wilson led the Seahawks to the Patriots' one-yard line with 25 seconds remaining, but Patriots cornerback Malcolm Butler intercepted a pass intended for Ricardo Lacat, sealing the victory for the Patriots. He was ranked 22nd by his fellow players on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2015. 2015 On July 31, 2015, the Seahawks and Wilson agreed to a four-year, $87.6 million contract extension, making him, at the time, the second-highest-paid player in the NFL. In the first nine games of the season, Wilson threw 10 touchdown passes and seven interceptions. Over the next five games, Wilson threw 19 touchdowns and no interceptions, becoming the only quarterback in NFL history to throw three-plus touchdown passes and no interceptions in five consecutive games. After a 2-4 start to the season, Wilson led the Seahawks to win seven of their next eight games and clinch a fourth consecutive playoff appearance in their Week 15 win over the Cleveland Browns.
His strong performance over the second half of the season, even after losing star running back Marshawn Lynch and tight end Jimmy Graham, led many analysts to consider Wilson an MVP candidate. Wilson broke numerous Seahawks single-season passing records in 2015, including most passing yards, 4,024, most passing touchdowns, 34, and highest passer rating, 110.1. Dot, he became the first Seahawks quarterback to throw for over 4,000 yards in a season and finished the year with the highest passer. Rating in the NFL, Wilson's 51.7% deep ball completion percentage was the highest among NFL quarterbacks. On December 22, 2015, Wilson was named to his third Pro Bowl. He was ranked 17th on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2016. The Seahawks traveled to Minnesota to face the Vikings in the wild card round. The temperature at kickoff was minus 6 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit wind chill, making it the third coldest game in NFL history. Wilson struggled in the sub zero temperatures, throwing for 142 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. The Vikings missed a short field goal in the last minute, allowing the Seahawks to advance to the divisional round to face the 15-1 Panthers. Down 31-0 at the half, Wilson helped lead a furious comeback attempt, but the Panthers won 31-24, denying Wilson and the Seahawks their third consecutive in the NFC Championship and a shot at a third consecutive Super Bowl appearance. In that game, Wilson threw for 366 yards, three touchdowns, and two interceptions. Wilson was drafted first overall by Team Irvin in the 2016 Pro Bowl draft, and in the game threw eight completions on 12 attempts for 164 yards, three touchdowns, and no interceptions for a 149.3 rating. He was named the Pro Bowl Offensive MVP. 2016 The Seahawks had a solid 2016 season with Wilson at the helm. However, Wilson drew two minor injuries, his ankle during week one against the Miami Dolphins after getting stepped on by defensive lineman in Domicong Sioux, and his left knee against the 49ers during week three after a takedown by linebacker Eli Harold. The injuries hampered Wilson's trademark mobility, and many speculated that he would be rested in order to properly recover. Regardless, Wilson started all 16 games in the season. On November 20, against the Eagles, he had a 15-yard touchdown reception on a pass from Doug Baldwin on a trick play. Wilson also played the worst game of his career in 2016, throwing five interceptions in a 38-10 loss to the Packers during Week 14. The team finished with a 10-5-1 record and won the NFC West. Wilson put together a season where he recorded a career-high 4,219 passing yards, 21 passing touchdowns, 259 rushing yards, and one rushing touchdown. The Seahawks made the playoffs, where they defeated the Detroit Lions in the wildcard round. The win gave Wilson his eighth playoff victory. However, they fell 20-36 to the eventual NFC champion Falcons in the divisional round at the Georgia Dome. He was ranked 24th by his. Peers on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2017 2017 On September 5, 2017, Wilson was voted Seahawks offensive captain for the fifth consecutive season, 184, in Week 3, in a 33-27 loss to the Titans, he was 29 of 49 for 373 passing yards and four passing touchdowns. In Week 8 against the Houston Texans, Wilson posted an astounding performance going 26 of 41 for a career-high 452 passing yards and four touchdowns in a matchup where both he and Deshaun Watson each threw over 400 yards. Wilson also rushed for 30 yards, totaling 482 yards of offense in the 41-38 victory. With his strong performance, Wilson earned NFC Offensive Player of the Week. On December 21, 2017, the Seahawks were fined $100,000 for failure to properly apply the concussion protocol on a hit Wilson sustained during the Week 10 win over the Cardinals. In a Week 12 win over San Francisco, Wilson became the winningest quarterback in a player's first six seasons with 63 wins, surpassing Joe Flacco. Next. Week, with his 15-yard touchdown throw to running back J. D. McKissick, the third of his game, Wilson tied Eli Manning in 2011 for the most fourth-quarter touchdowns in a single season with 15. He went 20 for 31 for 227 yards and three touchdowns in that game, earning him NFC Offensive Player of the Week. On December 19, 2017, 
Wilson was named to his fourth Pro Bowl, the Seahawks ended the season with a 9-7 record, ending Wilson's streak of five consecutive seasons with double-digit wins. And a playoff appearance. He threw for 34 touchdown passes, finishing the season as the league's leader in touchdowns thrown. With 586 rushing yards and three touchdowns, he also finished the season as the team's leading rusher in both categories. Wilson was ranked 11th by his peers on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2018. 2018 see also, 2018 Seattle Seahawks season with the Seahawks having lost many Pro Bowl starters in the offseason such as Cliff Avril, Michael Bennett, Cam Chancellor, Jimmy Graham, and Richard Sherman, and having star safety Earl Thomas injured in the beginning of the regular season, many considered the team a long shot to return to the playoffs, in addition to dealing with a retooled roster. Wilson also had a new offensive coordinator in Brian Schottenheimer, who replaced Daryl Bevel. Wilson was once again named as a captain for the Seahawks going into the 2018 season. He started the season with 298 passing yards, three touchdowns, and two interceptions in a 27-24 loss to the Broncos in Week 1 and Week 3 against the Dallas Cowboys. He helped lead the Seahawks to their first victory of the season with 192 passing yards and two touchdowns, in weeks 5-8, against the Los Angeles Rams, Oakland Raiders, and Lions, he had three consecutive games with three passing. Touchdowns In week 13, against the 49ers, he had 185 passing yards and four touchdowns in the 43-16 victory. In Week 16, the Seahawks faced off against the top-seeded Chiefs on NBC Sunday Night Football. Wilson outdueled the season's eventual MVP Patrick Mahomes to lead the team to a 38-31 victory. This not only ensured another winning season for the Seahawks, but also defied early season expectations by returning to the postseason after a one-year absence. Wilson finished the season with 35 touchdowns and a 110.9 passer rating, both personal and franchise bests. He also set career franchise records with most quarterback regular season wins, 75, and most touchdowns. 196. Dot. As the number 5 seed in the NFC, the Seahawks faced off against the Cowboys in the wildcard round. Wilson passed for 233 yards and one passing touchdown to go along with a rushing touchdown as the Seahawks fell 24-22. Wilson was named to the Pro Bowl for the sixth time in his career, replacing Aaron Rodgers. He was ranked 25th by his fellow players on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2019. 2019 On April 16, 2019, Wilson signed a four-year, $140 million contract extension to remain with the Seahawks through the 2023 season, making him the highest-paid player in the NFL. In Week 2 against the Pittsburgh Steelers, Wilson threw for 300 yards and three touchdowns as the Seahawks won 28-26 earning him NFC Offensive Player of the Week. In Week 3 against the Saints, Wilson completed 32 passes for 406 yards and two passing touchdowns. In addition, he rushed seven times for 51 yards and two rushing touchdowns in the 33-27 loss. In Week 5 against the Rams, Wilson threw for 268 yards and four touchdowns in the 30-29 win. The next week, in a 32-28 victory over the Browns, he had 295 passing yards and two passing touchdowns. In Week 9 against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Wilson threw for 378 yards and five touchdowns in the 40-34 overtime win, taking over the league lead in touchdowns and quarterback rating. He was named. NFC Offensive Player of the Week for his performance. In Week 10 against the then-undefeated 49ers, Wilson threw for 232 yards, one touchdown, and one interception, and led the Seahawks to a 27-24 overtime win. Wilson finished the 2019 season with 4,110 passing yards, 31 passing touchdowns and five interceptions to go along with 75 carries for 342 rushing yards and three rushing touchdowns as the Seahawks finished with an 11-5 record and made the playoffs as the NFC's number 5 seed, he was once. Again named to the Pro Bowl, but also made his first appearance on the AP All-Pro team, being named second-team quarterback after Lamar Jackson. In the wild card round against the Eagles, Wilson completed 18 of 30 passes for 325 yards and a touchdown. In addition, he rushed nine times for 45 yards.
he accounted for 95% of the Seahawks' total offense and led them to a 17-9 victory over the Eagles. In the divisional round against the Packers, Wilson threw for 277 yards and a touchdown and rushed for 64 yards during the 28-23 loss. Wilson was ranked second on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2020, the highest of his career and beat out the likes of renowned quarterbacks like Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, and Tom Brady. 2020 Wilson started off the 2020 season going 31 of 35 for 322. Passing yards and four passing touchdowns in the 38-25 victory over the Atlanta Falcons, he was named the NFC Offensive Player of the Week for his performance in Week 1. In Week 2, against the New England Patriots, he had 288 passing yards, five passing touchdowns, and one interception in the 35-30 victory. Wilson continued his great start to the season with 315 passing yards and five touchdowns in the 38-31 victory over the Dallas Cowboys. Wilson set an NFL record most passing. Touchdowns through three games with 14. He was again named the NFC Offensive Player of the Week for his performance in Week 3. On October 1, 2020, Wilson was named the NFC Offensive Player of the Month for his performance in September. 234. In Week 4, Wilson passed for 360 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception in the 31-23 victory over the Miami Dolphins. In Week 5 against the Minnesota Vikings, Wilson threw for 217 yards and three touchdowns, including the game-winning six-yard touchdown pass to DK Metcalf with 14 seconds left in the game during the 27-26 win, this win passing touchdowns in the 37-27 victory. In Week 9, against the Buffalo Bills, he had 390 passing yards, two passing touchdowns, and two interceptions to go along with a rushing touchdown in the 44-34 loss. In Week 14 against the New York Jets, Wilson threw for 206 yards, four touchdowns, and one interception during the 40-3 win. In the Week 17 season finale against the San Francisco 49ers, Wilson went 20 of 36-4. 181 yards and two touchdowns and also rushed for 29 yards in the 26-23 victory. Overall, Wilson finished the 2020 season with 4,212 passing yards, 40 touchdowns, and 13 interceptions. Wilson broke his own franchise record for passing touchdowns in a single season with his efforts in 2020. In the wildcard round, Wilson was unable to continue his success from the regular season, only completing 11 of 27 passes for 174 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception that was returned for a touchdown by Darius Williams in a 30-20 loss to the Los Angeles Rams. A few days later on February 6, Wilson was named the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year for his consistent and outstanding community service throughout the entirety of his career. Wilson was ranked 12th on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2021, the third highest ranking of his career. 2021, final year in Seattle during the Week 5 loss to the Rams, Wilson left the game after suffering a broken finger in the third quarter. He had surgery to repair the injury on October 8, 2021. On October 15, 2021, he was ruled out for the Week 6 game against the Steelers. It was the first game he missed in his career, which ended a streak of 149 consecutive games started by an NFL quarterback, which is sixth all-time. He was placed on injured reserve later that same day, ensuring he would miss the next three games at minimum. He was activated off injured reserve November 12. Wilson finished the season with 3,113 passing yards. 25 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, and an additional 2 rushing touchdowns as the Seahawks finished with a 7-10 record, their first losing record since Wilson's arrival. Wilson earned his ninth Pro Bowl nomination after Tom Brady was unable to participate. He was ranked 61st by his fellow players on the NFL Top 100 Players of 2022, Denver Broncos on March 16, 2022, the Seahawks traded Wilson and a fourth-round pick to the Broncos in exchange for two first-round picks, two second-round picks, a fifth-round pick, quarterback Drew Locke, defensive lineman Shelby Harris, and tight end Noah Fant. 
teammates said the trade was unavoidable as Wilson broke with the team and checked out midseason. Seahawks chairperson Jody Allen released a statement indicating that the trade was initiated by Wilson. The Seahawks said that Wilson did not approve of the team firing offensive line coach Mike Solari and offensive coordinator Brian Schottenheimer. Wilson said that while he did not initiate the trade, the decision was mutual. Before he left the Seahawks, Wilson reportedly asked for the firing of coach Pete Carroll and general manager John Schneider, which Wilson denied. On September 1, 2022, Wilson signed a five-year, $245 million contract extension with the Broncos. 2022 In the season opener of the 2022 season against the Seahawks, Wilson completed 29 of 42 passes for 340 yards and one touchdown in a 17-16 loss to his former team. In Week 2 against the Texans, Wilson went 14 of 31 for 219 yards, one touchdown, and one interception in a 16-9 win, his first as a Bronco. Despite an 11-10 victory over the 49ers in Week 3, Wilson threw no touchdowns and only 126 yards. In Week 4 against the Las Vegas Raiders, Wilson completed 17 of 25 passes for 237 yards and two touchdowns, and also had 29 rushing yards and a rushing touchdown, but lost 32-23. Against the Colts, Wilson went 21 of 39 for 274 yards, no touchdowns, and two interceptions in a 12-9 overtime loss. After the game, Wilson underwent a procedure on his right shoulder. In Week 6 against the Los Angeles Chargers, Wilson completed 10 passes for 116 yards and a touchdown for a 148.3 passer rating in the first quarter, but lost 19-16 in overtime. During the game, Wilson suffered a partially torn hamstring, causing him to miss Week 7 against the Jets. In Week 8 against the Jacksonville Jaguars in London, Wilson went 18 of 30 for 252 yards, one touchdown, and one interception in a 21-17 win. In Week 10 against the Titans, Wilson went 21 of 42 for 286 yards, one touchdown, and one interception in a 17-10 loss. In a Week 11 rematch against the Las Vegas Raiders, Wilson went 24 of 31 for 247 yards, no touchdowns, and no interceptions in a 22-16 overtime loss. Against the Panthers in Week 12, Wilson went 19 of 35 for 142 yards and a touchdown in a 23-10 loss. In Week 13 against the Baltimore Ravens, Wilson went 17 of 22 for 189 yards, no touchdowns, and no interceptions in a 10-9 loss. In Week 14 against the Chiefs, Wilson went 23 of 36 for 247 yards, three touchdowns, and an interception in a 34-28 loss, but left the game after sustaining a concussion during the fourth quarter. Despite passing concussion protocols, Wilson missed the Week 15 game against the Cardinals. Wilson returned in Week 16 against the Rams, where he threw for 214 yards, a touchdown, and three interceptions, and was sacked six times in the 51-14 loss, with his interception to former teammate Bobby Wagner gaining internet fame due to the commentary of voice actor Bill Fagerback on the game's Nickelodeon broadcast, in which Fagerback acted in character as Patrick Starr. In a Week 17 rematch against the Kansas City Chiefs, Wilson went 26 of 38 for 222 yards, a touchdown, and an interception, along with 27 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns in a 27-24 loss. In a Week 18 rematch against the Los Angeles Chargers, Wilson went 13 of 24 for 283 yards, three touchdowns, and an interception in a 31-28 win. Overall, Wilson passed for 3,524 yards, 16 touchdowns and 11 interceptions along with 55 carries for 277 rushing yards and three rushing touchdowns in the 2022 season. The 2022 season was considered a massive disappointment for Wilson and the Broncos and resulted in the firing of head coach Nathaniel Hackett. Wilson was sacked more than any other quarterback in the 2022 season. The Broncos had the league's worst scoring offense with 287 total points for 16.9 points per game. Despite the disappointing season for Wilson, some of his teammates went on social media to express their support for him. In March 2023, it was revealed that Wilson underwent arthroscopic surgery on his right knee during the offseason, 2023 going into the 2023 
season, Wilson had a new head coach in Sean Payton. In the season opener against the Raiders, Wilson completed 27 of 34 passes for 177 yards and two touchdowns in a 17-16 loss. In the following week against the Washington Commanders, Wilson threw for 308 yards and three touchdowns, including a 50-yard Hail Mary pass, but also had two turnovers in a 35-33 defeat. In Week 3, Wilson went for 23 of 38 for 306 yards, one touchdown pass, and an interception in a 20-70 blowout loss to the Dolphins. After that loss, he started 0-3 record for the first time in his career. In Week 4 against the Bears, Wilson threw for three touchdowns as the Broncos bounced back from the 21-point margin to defeat the Bears in 31-28 comeback victory. In the following week against the Jets, Wilson completed 20 of 31 passes for 196 yards and two touchdowns, but also took four sacks in a 31-21 loss. In Week 6, Wilson went 13 of 22 completions for 95 yards and one touchdown, but also threw two interceptions, and took four sacks in an 8-19 defeat to the Chiefs. Against the Packers in the following week, Wilson rebounded from his worst game as a Bronco a week earlier, completing 20 of 29 passes for 195 yards with one touchdown to secure a 19-17 victory at home for the first time this season, in Week 7 rematch against the Kansas City Chiefs. Wilson completed 12 of 19 completions for 114 yards and three touchdowns in a 24-9 upset victory. Following the bye week, Wilson completed 24 of 29 passes for 193 yards with two touchdowns in a narrow 24-22 victory against the Bills. In Week 11 against the Vikings, Wilson went 27 of 35 for 259 yards and one touchdown, game winner to Cortland Sutton to secure a 21-20 victory. Following losses to the Lions and Patriots in Weeks 15 and 16, the Broncos announced that Wilson would be benched for the final two games of the season to preserve financial flexibility. On March 4, 2024, the Broncos announced that Wilson would be released on March 13, the start of the new league year.